Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to nest one array within another array. Uh, you can nest arrays within other arrays like this. So the bowls, they've got an array here, and then on the first element of the of the array is another array with a string and then an integer inside of it. And then the second element of the first array is the white socks and then the number 45. So they want us to create a nested array called my array. If you look over here, you can see that they've already created my array for you here. And so all you need to do is nest an array. So the easiest way to do this would just be to put an array, uh, two arrays inside of there. And I'm sure this would pass the test. Okay, cool. But let's make this a little bit more exciting. Um, now, okay, so arrays have a position. So let's put a string in here called this is the first position. And then um, we'll put the number one. And then in here, we'll put a string that's uh, the second position. And then the number two. No, better yet, let's make it 11 and 22 so we can differentiate the positioning. Now let's say we wanted to access different elements of this array, right? So if we console log my array, we're going to get this, which is basically, um, this is the first position, 11, uh, the second position, 22. And so if we console this array, it runs to this in the console. But let's say we want to find out the array, what's in the first position. So in the first position, this is the array. So in the position, it's, it's, it's a comma separated list. This is the first element, and then this is the second element. And so if we were to say what's in the first element of there, what we can do is put brackets here and then put the number zero. And now we'll get this. This is the first position, 11. But still, if we go type of here, so right, what I'm going to do is say checking what is this element, right? So this is the first position, comma, 11. Now, if I run a type of and I ask what is this, it's going to be an array. But it's probably going to say object. So if I go type of my array object. Now, object is a different... Um, an, another type of data structure, an array is a type of an object, so um, you'll get further into that later. But for now, I just wanted to show you a little bit about how you can access this. Now let's say we only wanted to check the number of 11 of this array. What would we do? Well, we can use this selection tool, but here we did in the brackets, we're going to say there's two elements here and we picked the first one or the zeroth element. So what would happen if we wanted to console log the number 11? Well, here we have access to this array, right? So we're, we have access to this array, and now we want to get the second element. So the first, so what we do is add brackets here and then add a one, and this should read out 11. And this is sort of a way that we use arrays to, um, you, can, you can nest data within arrays and select out um, small little pieces like that. Now, uh, as always, that's just something that I added in there to help kind of clarify this and help you guys think about it as you're moving through the course. So uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next lesson.